Hi, <laughs> good afternoon, everyone. My name is Ivy Bautista and I am a artist in residence with Hearts Need Arts. And today we are going to get a bit crafty and we are going to be making some very colorful flowers. Um, they're really fun, they're really easy to make. These are just some examples that I had made overnight. And all you will need for this project is a toilet paper roll. Um, this is actually half of the like paper towel roll. You will need a pair of scissors. I am using a hot glue gun. Um, you can also use a glue stick. Um, might take a little bit longer to dry. Um, and then towards the end, we're going to use some regular Elmer type glue and then some glitter. So the first thing that you want to do is kind of flatten out your paper towel roll. Um, the paper roll, whatever you have, doesn't have to be perfectly flat, but just so you're able to cut it a little bit easier. Get your pair of scissors, and you don't want to cut anything too thick either, maybe like a finger's width, and it doesn't have to be perfect either, um, and then just go ahead and cut it. You want to make sure that you have at least 12 pieces cut. So that was one, working on the second one, two, three and I think why I like the paper towel rolls because it gives me a little bit more to work with instead of worrying if I'm gonna run out a little bit more um, with the toilet paper roll since it is a little bit smaller that's one two three four five six I don't know I might not have enough but we'll make it work um, so this way instead of you know throwing it away or forgetting about it you can have something kind of crafty and fun to make and make use out of it. And I'm sure a lot of us are pretty stocked up on toilet paper rolls right now. So just a fun way to stay busy and to get creative and use our creative mind. Let's see how many I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And I just need one more and twelve. You can also paint this um, beforehand if you want to with like a marker. Um, it looks a little bit funny on cardboard, but it's fine. I think I'm going to spray paint it after just to make it a little bit more fun. Um, so what I'm kind of doing right now is just setting it up into the flower that I want it to look like more or less. So it'll be a six point flower. So right now I have it kind of flat. So I'm going to pick my first one up and a rule that i like to use with my glue gun is um, a little goes a long way and i think that can work for a lot of things you're going to glue the end tape it down put a little bit towards the end you really don't need much and you don't need to put it like all over the place either um just a little bit so that there's something to stick to and if it's too you don't want it to be too chunky because then glue gets everywhere and it gets messy and you pick up the other piece of cardboard and then you just kind of press them together where you want them to sit so it should look something similar to this once you have them put together um be careful because the glue is hot it'll be very very hot so just be careful with that and it should stick really close together and you, so you could have something like this so you're going to be building this all the way around with the rest of them so i'm going to sit actually Make it a little bit easier. We're going to continue with this. Put the glue at the very end. Not a lot. I guess just to show you guys, it's at the very, very end of it. It's not, no, go for it. Um, but it's, it's not a lot. And you put the other one on there. Hold it together. Hold it in place. Try to get it really close to centered as possible with the other one. And so you're getting something like this. And we're going to do six petals all the way across. And I like to put the glue onto the flower that I'm already making just so that I have an idea of what it's already looking like. And so that way I can just start building it the way I want it to look like. Put the other one. Again, pretty close to the center. Hold it there for like five seconds. We could have just made a butterfly. This looks really pretty. 
Um, so yeah, that's what it should be looking like so far. And we're not going to be doing any more cutting, so once we're done with the scissors, you can put those away. This glue is fantastic because immediate payoff, it dries off so fast. And we're almost done at five points. Really good. And now we have one last one. For this one, though, I do like to put the glue right in the crease at the bottom and a little bit on the side because it's a little easier to fit in uh, into the flower than how we were doing the other one. So just a little bit at the end. And pick it up and kind of just push it in there a little bit and I like to hold it from each end and kind of push it towards the other one so that that way they're all close together and you have somewhat of a center right there. So here is the first part of your flower. So with these, these do get a little bit more complicated um, but not by much. All we're going to do is fold it in half like this. And I just like pinch it together to make sure that it's folded. And I'm going to go ahead and do that with the rest of them. Mm. Marisa said, my beautiful friend, what a neat idea. Thank you, Marisa. It is a very neat idea. Something fun and crafty to do um, to kill time or to make something cute. You know, you can tell your friends that, hey, look, I bought this. But, you know, you did it. You made it yourself. You are the artist. That's what we're doing here. We're making you guys artists. Um, we're folding the rest of them just in half like this. Now, these pieces are going to require a little bit more glue. I think I dropped one. I got it. It's safe. It's safe. We're good. And we're going to fold this one, too. And there we go. So these are going to be the ones that are going to fill in in these empty spots right here. So like I said, these do require a little bit more of glue. Love this idea. Thank you, Hannah. We're going to put glue in the center of it where it creased so that that way it's a little more sturdy, it doesn't fall apart. We're going to hold it together. I like to just kind of squeeze it together so that it starts forming its shape. Um, so just squeeze it like that. And then there you go. It's pretty, it's pretty safe. And now I'm going to put glue at the bottom end, at the crease, and also a little bit on the side. Remember that with the hot glue, a little bit goes a long way. Um, you don't really need much. Just enough to cover the end. And then we're going to get, pick any third, any place you want to start at, kind of just place it there at the end and hold it. Um, the idea is to hold it together so that way it's shaped where you want it to be. And it only takes a few seconds. And then the way that I like to make it plump, where it looks a little bit more full, those, these little ones, just kind of stick your fingers through them. And it gives it a little bit more of a flowery shape. So it's going to look a little something like this. And then after a couple of seconds, you can go ahead and just let it go. And there you go. You have a little, little end of the flowers. And we're just going to be doing that all the way around. Um, so this is the only part that is really a little bit more time consuming, um, but definitely worth it. Again, I'm just putting glue in the center first. To hold it together like so. Hold it, press it for a few seconds. Again, be careful because it is really hot. There's a hot glue gun. I'm going to go ahead and put some more glue at the very, very, very end. The corner a little bit goes a long way. And we are going to again take any side, put it kind of shove it in there and press on it really, really, really tightly so that, oh, you can see a little bit of the string, um, so that it holds its form. And then once you think that it is placed well,
well where you want it, go ahead and put your little fingers in there so that that way they can kind of get their shape and it can be a nice full flower. And so this is what you have more or less so far. Um, we're just going to repeat this set for the rest of them. Uh, but in the meantime, um, again, my name is Ivy Bautista. I am a artist in residence with uh, Hearts Need Art. And I first heard about this program through my friend Marisa, um, go to school with her at UIW. And um, she, when she first, I guess I didn't really know what to expect or much of like what they did. And um, when she told me more about it and kind of what she does, it sounded really interesting to me because I'm studying to be a music therapist. So the fact that there is a program out there that brings art to patients already um, was really fascinating to me. So I, you know, did my part, went to the orientation, did a little bit of shadowing. I shadowed, I shadowed with the artist. I think I shadowed with Hannah first. Um, then I started shadowing with the musicians like Hyman. And it was from day one. It was just a phenomenal experience. Um, everyone there is fantastic, really, really nice. And the things that they do for these people is just mind blowing. Um, they have a whole separate area where they can, it's like a, a giant art room and they have everything prepared for whoever wants to come. Um, nobody has to come, but it's open for everyone to come which I think is also really powerful because it gives them the option of whether they want to go or not. Or um, I know that in the hospital, your freedom of being able to choose what you want to do is probably taken away from you. So they give them that option. And I think it's really neat that they do that. Um, and they just create with them and they get to keep their art. They even display their art for their family and their friends to see, um, to share what they're doing. I've also that they uh, paint on the windows of patients' rooms. And when I first saw that, it blew my mind, first of all, because the artists are so talented. Um, I saw like giant roses and flowers on an artist, um, or on in the patient's room that an artist did. And it blew my mind how beautiful and giant those roses were. It was just, it was beautiful. And a, a fun way to lighten up the, the room that they're in you know to make it fun and exciting in a place where they necessarily don't want to be but that they can enjoy for the moment um and they also do a lot of bedside stuff so if maybe a patient isn't capable of you know leaving their room or leaving their bed for whatever reason they can bring that to the patient um so it's it's really beautiful it's really rewarding um especially um for me, since I'm learning how, you know, to kind of do this, you know, eventually one day I want to be able to do this um, in my profession, kind of getting my foot in the door as far as like, you know, being with patients and bringing the music and just interacting with people. Um, it's a lot of fun and it's really rewarding and I hope to be with, with them for a long time because they're great and what they're doing is great. The fact that we're able to do these lives videos for the community and kind of show people like, hey, this is who we are, this is what we're doing, this is what we can offer to people. Even when we're all going through tough times right now, we're trying to make the best of it and this is our way of doing it. So I'm really proud to be a part of this program. So thank you to everyone who has welcomed me with open arms. Thank you to Marisa for opening the doors for me <laughs> and inviting me into this world um, of Heart Need Art and it's an absolute blessing to be with you guys and to share this kind of art with you. So thank you. I love you guys too, a lot. So we're almost done. And now I'm just kind of shaping up the last bit of it. So all of I've been doing, trying to make this little flower, it's really fast flower to make, it's really fun. Um, for this last little one, if anyone has probably just joined, uh, we're making a little flower out of a you know, the toilet paper, uh, cardboard, <laughs> I couldn't think of the name, um, or um, the, 
paper towel roll cardboard. Um, we just cut it up into 12 pieces. Six of them we glued together and um, these big ones. And then the last bit of them, we folded in half and we glued them together and we're gonna put them in the corner. And so for these ones, um, we glued the center together to kind of hold it to help keep it safe. We're using hot glue because you need to get pay after work really, really a little a long way with a hot glue gun. And we're just gonna place it at the end. And we're taking that little bit of cardboard. We're gonna stick it in on the side. And we're just gonna kind of hold it there so that it holds its place. Um, so you have it right where you want it to be. And then once you feel that it is pretty set in place, just to give it some shape, I like to put my fingers through them so you can make them a little bit more fluffed, a little bit more, um, I don't know, give them more shape, make it a little bit bigger of a flower. So um, I guess what you could also do with this, once you're done gluing it all together, is paint over it if you want to. Um, for an example that I did last night, um, this one was painted gold at first. I don't know if you can really tell. And then you put the glitter on top, and that gave it like a really nice payoff. Um, this was another one that we did. They were like really cute ornaments. You can paint one white and make it like a snowflake. I don't know how this one would look like a snowflake, so if I don't color the cardboard. But, um, what I do have, this is gonna be interesting. I do have spray paint. Now I did include this in the list of things because I'm, you know, I don't know who just has spray paint laying around. I didn't until today. <laughs> um, but for the sake of the video and to try to make this really, really fun, um, I do have a piece of cardboard laid down and I'm just going to go ahead and spray paint this a little bit. Um, and I think I'm going with this baby blue color just because I don't know. It reminds me of the sky. It's really pretty. It's really nice and hot out today. So we're going to do a little bit of that. Oh, well, I could just spray paint my hand, too. Hmm. Or maybe not. I don't know. Okay, so maybe spray painting just didn't want to work with me today. But that's fun. So we're going to go on to our last step. And I think that'll still make it pretty interesting looking. Um, since that was kind of centered more towards the middle, I kind of want to leave it that way. So I'm going to get the glue and I'm just going to outline all of the edges. So it's okay if it kind of seeps through a little bit. It's okay if it kind of falls off the sides. It's fine. Um, it'll stick with the glitter anyway. And again, this, these would make really nice ornaments. So they don't have to be perfect. They're just gonna, they're gonna sit on a tree and then you can tell everyone, hey, look, I made this. Look at how freshly it is. But don't get too close. <laughs> um, so, even though it does look a little messy, it's just on the corners. I kind of want to keep that blue um, in the center so that it can kind of show off. And we're just gonna outline all of the edges with the glue. Any liquid glue would work. I wouldn't use a hot glue gun for this because it dries a little bit too fast. Um, and I don't think it would hold the glitter as well. So we're just gonna continue outlining around the entire flower. Fast, easy, breezy, beautiful. I'm not gonna say cover girl even though I just said it. Um, so yeah, how are you guys today? Go ahead, leave a comment on the video. We want to hear from you guys what you would like to see, what you don't want to see anymore. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, what you would like to hear, something else that um, we in our senior providers live music that we've been doing and the amount of talent that they have gathered together for these people to go live is amazing. Um, just with the way that they sing and the instruments that they play, the way that they're able to see a song that someone requested and they're like, yep, let me just go ahead and play that song. It's amazing. They're so talented. 
Um, so I feel really blessed to be a part of such a talented group of people. It's a lot of fun. And to be able to be creative with you guys as well. And painting the Tana, there's a really relaxing voice. I just kind of like sit there and watch her be magnificent. And it's, it's a lot of fun. And it's a good way to pass the time. It's a good way to spend time with your family. So I really, I really enjoy it a lot. All right, so now I have pretty much finished putting the glue everywhere. Um, so do be careful because it is a little bit like flimsy and it looks a little bit messy. Fine. We're going to because glitter fixes everything. Does it also make a mess? Yes. <laughs> but is it a beautiful mess? Also, yes. Um, so I'm not sure what I want to do. I got into the idea of snowflakes now because someone said something about like decorations for Christmas. Or did I, in my mind, make up the fact that it was for Christmas? Can you tell that I like Christmas? <laughs> so I have these little glitter packets. I think I bought them at Walmart for like 99 cents. Um, really inexpensive and it's like an entire pack of them. So now this is the fun part. Well. At least this is my favorite part. It's just dumping the glitter everywhere. Um, but I am going to kind of aim it towards the spot that um, I put the glitter, the glue on, I mean, I'm sorry, just at the end. I kind of left out the center a little bit and probably could use the white that was a little bit more, if you could see a little bit more. But who says that we can't layer glitter together? You know, see, my kind of crafts are the kinds that like you can get it everywhere and it's messy, but the end result is always really rewarding because, you know, it's a beautiful mess that you made. And that packet's all gone. And I'm going to kind of shake it off. Also, just going to dump the, or kind of press on the glitter that fell down on it and see what it'll grab. And let's pick it up and see what she looks like. From far away, again, marvelous. Up close, we're not there yet. <laughs> so let's dump some, I wanna go with some dark blue now, just to give it a little bit more of a contact. <clears throat> and you're pretty much like done after this. Um, I think it would be a really neat idea if beforehand or even after, um, you painted your cardboard, um, so you could have this be any color you want um, and already kind of start off with something nice if you didn't want to add anything else and then just have that set up. And I've also seen people who, like, they have their flower and then they connect it to the other flower and kind of just make a pattern that builds, and I think that would be really pretty. Um, a little bit more time-consuming, but definitely really pretty and really rewarding. Um, so I think I'm gonna add a little bit more glue just on the spots that, you know, kind of fell through and just so that the glue can really pop out. Um, and yeah, this was a nice, fun five minute craft. I don't know if you guys have seen those videos on, um, sometimes they have them on Facebook or like mainly on YouTube, but they have these five minute crafts but they're doing them sped up, so they don't really take five minutes. And I feel like if I tried to make those five minute crafts, it would take me like 50 minutes. <laughs> um, but yeah, maybe I could put in a word to someone and say, hey, I have a great idea for you. And this will actually only take maybe 25 minutes. Um, so we're almost done with these. I'm just a, a little bit more of this blue glitter to make this one stand out. And the glitter is very forgiving. It's a lot of fun. We're almost done. And I think this kind of saved it. I think kind of making a bold move is what saves the art sometimes because you kind of just need to go for it. So I'm going to push this down back on the glitter that fell because we don't want to waste any glitter. Because um, we're very resourceful here. <laughs> we're using toilet paper rolls to make a flower. So we're going to be as resourceful as possible. Um, just press this down. Plus the mix of the white is still, is 
also in there as well. And <clears throat> of course you can like add glue and put more glitter as you please um, and just really make this into something that, you know, is really pretty for you and however you want your art to look like. So I'm gonna do a little bit more of this <clears throat> and it's kind of hard to see in here. I'm gonna put this in the background to kind of lay that. And there we go. Oh, I'm going to touch the glue. It's okay. It's for art purposes. So there's our flower. Really simple, yet really, really pretty. <clears throat> you can definitely make this into whatever you want, however you want to make it. Um, instantly satisfying, I think. Um, really fun and easy to make. Um, if anyone wants me to give them this flower, <laughs> I will gladly give it to you. Um, as a treat for me, here you go. This is for you. This is for Hearts Need Art. This is the art that we're making. Um, and this is a lot of fun. So thank you for for watching. Thank you for being here. Thank you for supporting Hearts Need Art. Um, thank you for coming on this little project with me. I hope that you can continue supporting us, sharing the videos, liking the videos. And thank you for having me today. Um, and I will see you guys whenever I see you guys. Thank you so much. Have a great day.